All right, ladies and gents, um, I just started rolling my own cigarettes here a couple weeks ago. And as you can see, for a machine, I picked up a Topomatic T2. Seems to be a pretty well made machine. I wanted to go with a mechanical one as my first machine. Um, I've been having a problem with this machine, and at first, being that I was new to this whole roll your own thing, I was thinking it was something that I was doing. What would happen is, and it was kind of an intermittent problem, but what would happen is I would get, you know, three, four, five, maybe even ten good cigarettes out of it, and then I'd get two or three or a little bunch of them and what would happen is above the filter here you'd get about a half inch where there was no tobacco the, the tobacco would stop right about here and it would fill up the rest of the tube and what was left would kind of spill out right here well I tried three different brands of tubes three different brands of tobacco the other two bags of tobacco were inside the house and tried tried packing it tried packing the uh, deal here as many different ways as I could packing it lighter packing it heavier trying to break the tobacco up seeing if it was clumping up in the machine nothing seemed to really work well finally got fed up with it and started doing some research and what I found was it seems to be a pretty simple solution I've been rolling here for a while now and have haven't had any problems the culprit seems to be this little guy right here, that little, this little rubber piece right here, what happens is when you go to crank to fill a cigarette tube, this will rest up against the little deal here where you put, where you slide your tube onto, and this little rubber piece holds the tube while the arm comes out and fills it. Well, what seems to be going on, and yes, I do have the base plate, it's just, or the base pad, it's just sitting over there, so I have it out of the way. What seems to be going on, get the machine turned over here, is this little guy right here. This little spring came from right here. That is the spring that puts tension on that little rubber piece right there, or on the arm that that little rubber piece sits on, rather. I had read some forum posts and, tr and tried to see if I could figure it out, and I had read where several guys had swap this factory spring out with a 119 spring from the local ace hardware so i figured i'd give that a shot now these are about right about a dollar a piece somewhere around in there and i got a couple extras in case i messed one up putting it on there and plus i wanted to have a couple spares so far that seems to solve the problem it has a lot more these are have a lot more tension to them and they're just a little bit shorter than the factory spring and the reason that factory spring has, is kind of bent out like that was for me taking it off. So it wasn't originally in the machine like that. But anyway, these new springs tend to are, are a little bit shorter and have a little more tension to them. And they seem to hold a lot more tension on this piece here. So far, I've been sitting here rolling for a little while now. And I haven't had any problems with the whole half-filled tube thing. I uh, figured I wanted to kind of throw that solution out there for you guys if any, any of you are having trouble having the same issue. Um, from all the stuff I've read online, it seems like this is a rather common problem with this particular machine. Um, but yeah, I'll let, I'll let you guys know if this doesn't seem to be a if this doesn't seem to work out, but uh, I figured I'd give that a shot. The other thing I did too, is not directly on the chamber here or any of the parts close to here but around the main arm right here and whatnot i put a little bit of a ram oil in it you know, like the remington gun oil and you could use you know hops nine or any brand ballastol any brand of your preference just to kind of help lube the machine up too i figured it couldn't hurt it seems to make a little bit less noise than it did before but uh figured i'd add that in as well but but yeah, just wanted to throw that out there for you guys, and if uh, any of you are having that, that issue th that issue with this machine of half-filling tubes, you might give those new springs a try. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope this helps you out.